And don't forget to check out and order your copy of our latest book, Stiff Arming Football Myths. You can find these available on our website at footballgameplan.com slash books. And we have these both in paperback and PDF form. Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. And now that the 2015 NFL Draft is complete, it's time to look back and evaluate the team's draft. We're going to look at the players they selected, where they fit, and also some undrafted free agents that you want to keep an eye on. The Saints were aggressive in free agency and came into the draft with the same mentality. New Orleans addressed major needs throughout the draft. You look at Stanford's Andrews Pete. He graded out as my number one tackle prospect and should be a week one starter on the right side. The Saints doubled down on edge rushes as well in Hauli Kikaha out of Washington and Davis Toll out of Chattanooga. The P.J. Williams selection is an underrated one, I believe because of his ability to play inside and out and also situationally at safety. They even added some special teams help with seventh round pick Marcus Murphy out of Missouri. Inside linebacker Stephon Anthony has been a highly regarded player here at Football Game Plan since his high school days. Anthony definitely lived up to the billing at Clemson and should pry away one of those starting inside linebacker spots. The Saints had two really good fifth round picks in defensive tackle Tyler Davison out of Fresno State and cornerback Damian Swan out of Georgia. Davison is a very stout player at the point of attack and can play multiple spots up front. And I got the chance to see Swan live up close and personal at the East West Shrine game this year and he was one of the better cornerbacks in attendance. Swan has the ability to also play in the slot as a nickel corner. A couple of undrafted free agents to keep an eye on. Wide receiver R.J. Harris from New Hampshire was one of the most prolific receivers in the FCS the last two seasons. Harris has better football speed than time speed and should prove to be yet another small college wideout that makes an impact for the Saints. I also think offensive tackle Sean Hickey out of Syracuse is another player with a great shot to make the roster. I saw him live versus Boston College this year and he owned the defensive end that game, which just so happened to be Brian Mihalik, who the Eagles drafted this year. Hickey's knees are the reason why he dropped in the draft, but as a swing tackle, I think he has some really good value. I gave the Saints an A for this draft. They addressed a ton of needs, especially on the defensive side of the football. I felt as though the Garrett Grayson selection in the third round would have been better served going to another offensive lineman, perhaps a guard. But overall, New Orleans definitely did what they had to do in this year's draft. And I also want to give a huge shout out to St. Fan Forms for always showing football game plan support.